Hey, what's up guys? Tim here again. Got another tutorial for you today doing another key fob. And this is the uh, very simple trilobite key fob. So of course, big shout out to uh, JD Lenzen over at Tying It All Together. He posted a really awesome picture tutorial for this. It's also in one of his books. I forgot which one. Anyhow, figured I'd do a video version of this one. It's very simple. Single piece of paracord and it will make a great keychain or zipper pull or hanging off your backpack or something like that. All right, so uh, this is what we'll be doing today. Remember, guys, if you're looking for where to get Paracord, check out those affiliate links down below. Let's be shop through those who are helping out this channel greatly. I always appreciate that. All right, so that being said, let's get into the tutorial. All right, so I got my Paracord ready, and I've got about four feet. That's way more than I actually need. You can probably do this with three feet. But anyways, uh, this is just a scrap piece I have. So I'm going to find the middle point of our Paracord. Then you're going to take the right side. You can make a loop and bring it in front, like so. And then on this side, you're gonna take that other end, make another loop, like so. And bring that underneath, behind like this, and then through this loop here, okay? So from here, you can start tying the trilobite. Let's we'll start with the left hand side. You're going to go through this loop, behind, and then through this loop. So you can see it's over, under, over. Let's bring this through here, like so. And for this side, you want to go behind, go underneath the str this strand up here, go through the loop go over the middle and then go through the loop again like that. Okay. Let's bring that to this side. So now this one's a little tricky because you kind of have to hold everything together while you uh, tie it. Okay. So that's pretty much the pattern. Now we're just going to repeat that again. Okay. So this side again, bring it, in front, go over, under, over, through this loop here, like so. And then now do this side again, go behind, through the loop, in between these two strands, over the middle, and then through this loop here. All right, so continue doing that. So you can see the trilobite starting to loosely form. Okay, so continue doing that. And um, we can, what, you, what we can do is we can kind of loosely tie it and then I find cinching it afterwards is easier. Okay, so I'm just gonna continue doing that pattern. Let's just do it one more time, a little faster though. So through over, under, over. Bring that through here, and then it goes behind, so under, over, and under. Okay, so I'm going to continue tying that pattern. You can cinch it up a little bit more if you want, but uh, you can always do it at the end too. Okay, so keep doing that um, until you get up to maybe here. So now when you get to this point, um, see how you can kind of pull in these strands here to tighten everything up. If you want to kind of end it, you can kind of pull it tight here, but I think I want to make just a little more because I still have some paracord and there will be excess when we cinch all the excess out. So you can actually kind of push these up, give yourself a little more space. I'm going to do the same thing like that. Bring this through here, through there. Okay. So now I'm going to pull this tight a little bit here. Now we're going to have to cinch out all the excess. So this part might take a little bit more patience, 
but um, just kind of start with whichever strand. So let's see, let's go with this one here, which means I'm going to pull on this one. Oh, this one here. Okay, I guess we're doing that one. Okay, so pull on that one like that. See how this excess is going through? You can hold it this way too if it makes it easier. Pull that through. And then this one leads to here. You're just kind of working all that slack through. This could take a little bit of time. So this strand leads to, no, not that one. No, oh, this one. Yeah. So you're just going to have to kind of play with it. Um, it's a lot harder to do this through a camera than you think. But anyways, you see what I'm going with here? This strand is here. So yeah, see this one? That one goes there. That one goes there. So it's starting to form up a little bit. But you see I got a lot more excess to get through. So let's start with let's pull on this one. So I'm just kind of grabbing whichever loose strand I see. Oh no, I gotta pull on this one. Yep. And then this one. Okay, so continue working all that excess through until your um, trilobite here becomes a nice kind of tightly woven section. Okay, so I'm just gonna do that. All right, so work it all the way out to the end. And then um, also when you get most of the excess out, you can kind of pull on this this loop here, it'll make this loop longer. Okay, so just be aware of that. And uh, that will kind of cinch everything together. All right, and there we have it, I'm done. So uh, I snipped and singed off the excess here and I got all the uh, slack through. So the trilobite weave is now nice and tight, looks good. And uh, I snipped and singed right here to leave these kind of tails here, but you can snip and singe it closer if you want, like that. Kind of looks just like an apple or something if you use the color red. Anyhow, this has been the Trilobite Key Fob. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. And uh, let me know what you thought of this one. And also let me know what you think of the uh, kind of time-lapse quick cut videos I'm doing now. Hope you guys are enjoying those as well. All right. Remember, guys, if you're looking for where to get Paracord, check out my affiliate links down below. Because when you shop through those, you are supporting this channel greatly. And I always appreciate that. All right. So that being said, uh, yeah. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I'll see you on the next one.